you've probably heard something like this. A glass of wine, red wine in particular, is good for your heart. But what if that research got it wrong? Health benefits have been, you know, at best exaggerated and are probably non-existent. That's Tim Stockwell, a scientist at the Canadian Institute for Substance Use Research and a professor of psychology at the University of Victoria. There's lots of respected, independent, fair-minded people who just look at some evidence, and I think less critically than they should, and they publish studies. It's very easy to do a big study finding health benefits if you don't look at it too critically. But the alcohol industry might have had a greater fight on its hands. Today, more and more people are becoming skeptical of the benefits of alcohol. Trends like sober curiosity and non-alcoholic beverages are growing in popularity. And the data suggests that the new science is having an impact. People are drinking less. I think we're going, going to see this cohort being more open to health initiatives around alcohol. On today's episode, how the science on the benefits of alcohol was wrong and where the future of drinking culture goes from here. 